Hunt for Wolverine Adamantium Agenda Issue 4 again takes a trip back in time as Logan talks with Jessica Jones, Spider-Man and Luke Cage, who thanks him for what Logan did. Logan reveals to them that he told Tony to look after his body after he died, or if he died. The others don't think that Tony can be trusted, not after the recent Civil War, but Logan is about 80% sure that he can trust him, but wants the other three heroes to be his insurance and make sure Tony does the right thing. In the present, Tony and his team find Mr. Sinister's DNA collection of the entire world. Peter is impressed with the cataloging of the samples that Sinister has done and Laura wants to destroy everything but Tony says that it is an astounding resource that Sinister has and Peter says that it doesn't include everyone as it's missing all mutants. Soon Peter's spider sense triggers and some of Sinister's soldiers arrive but they are easily defeated by Jessica and Laura. The women wonder where everyone else is since the base wasn't too protected given its contents and soon Laura locates a hidden passage, finding a control room room full of corpses. Jessica notes that the symbol on the bodies aren't that of Sinister's people and comes to the conclusion that they came here for the database as well. Tony confirms that as he learns the database was recently copied and there is physical and digital mutant data in the control room as Sinister kept it more secure. Tony works through the data but the team want him to destroy it as Mr. Sinister himself arrives and attacks the team. They however use their Iron Man armors to easily defeat him. Tony gets Sinister to tell him what happened and they learned that a kill team was sent in to steal his work for some reason. Laura wants to know if he has Logan's body but he doesn't, only digital data on him. The team want to destroy the data now to keep their promise to Logan but Sinister pleads with Tony to keep the data thanks to his potential. Tony is reminded of Logan saying something similar in that Logan wanted Tony to promise to leave his body alone and ignore the potential his body would give him. Logan also reveals that when he pulled the switch on the bomb to set it off he saw a star Industries logo, meaning the bomb was one of Tony's creations, and he created it to force good people and good heroes to sacrifice themselves. Tony says that he didn't make it, he did design it however, but he never built it, as his designs were stolen and he has people looking for them. Logan knows that to be true, but it doesn't matter since after the Civil War, if people learnt that he made it, it would end the Avengers and Tony's life. Logan says that he's so sick of heroes fighting one another, and while he knows he isn't a perfect role model, he and others need to show the world that they can be heroes and be better. Tony takes those words to heart and gets the team to destroy the database. Later on, the team return to Jess and Luke's house, sending Danny Rand home as the team debrief. Laura notices Stark looking at her and has been since they left Sinister's Island and wants to know what's wrong with him. Tony says that he caught a glimpse of the mutant data before he destroyed it and managed to decrypt Laura's file, learning Laura isn't actually a clone of Logan, but his real legitimate daughter, and her real mother is actually Sarah Kinney, as her DNA also shows signs of Sarah's DNA. As Laura deals with the revelation, Logan reveals another thing he found, and that is that one of the X-Men isn't a mutant, but someone who has been altered to appear to be a mutant, meaning the X-Men have a sleeper agent in their midst. Hunt for Wolverine Adamantium Agenda Issue 4 was a great end to a series that I think kind of ran over maybe one issue too long. I did enjoy seeing Logan's promise be fulfilled by the Avengers team and Tony showing some character growth regarding how he sees people as people and not objects of potential. The surprising development for Laura was also really awesome as well and I'm wondering if this is going to continue in her new solo series X-23 or if we're going to get some sort of cap off to that story in Dead Ends. While the series could have been one issue shorter I really did enjoy this final issue and the lead into Dead Ends. I'm going to give this issue an 8.5 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.